Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about scanning the target. So as a penetration tester your first process is scanning the target or collecting the information about our target. So you can say that the scanning the target is actually the first phase of a penetration testing. So there are some techniques which we can use in order to find an important information about our target. So these are some techniques or a process which every penetration tester performs before conducting any penetration test. So the first one is who is. So by checking the who is information about our website, we came to know about that what is the reg registrar information, what is the registrant name, their domain name servers along with their IP address. So once we perform the who is check, the next thing which we can do is we can check the reverse IP lookup. So what is the reverse IP lookup is? So reverse IP lookup is actually a finding that how many another websites are hosted on the same server of our target machine. So reverse IP lookup also help us to check whether the website is hosted on the dedicated server or even in a shared server. So then the third step is subdomain enumeration. So what is subdomain enumeration? It is actually a process of finding out a different different subdomains of a, our target. So like just for example, our target is google.com and we want to know that what are subdomains associated with google.com because sometimes there are vulnerabilities which are not present in the parent domain but there are some vulnerabilities which might actually present in subdomains. So that is why subdomain enumeration is one of the important part. Then what the penetration tester can do? It can actually find the operating system on which the website is running. So why operating system detection is must, why it is important? Because if the penetration tester knows that on which operating system a particular website is running then that penetration tester can actually made its exploit according to that operating system. Then the last one is built with com. So what it means? So just for example you are conducting a pen test on a particular website but you do not know that on which platform the website is running that whether the website is running on WordPress or any content management system or whether the website is running on ASP.NET, PHP, what kind of domain name service it is using, what kind of mail services it is using. So if you want to collect these all details then you can go to the, this website builtwith.com and here you can get the details of all the information which you need in order to complete your scanning phase. So now let us see that how we can perform the scanning in our operating system. Now first of all let us find the who is information about a particular website. So in order to find the who is information or the registrar information of a particular website just go to whois.hc. So there are a lot of websites which provides the same functionality but this website is one of the best. So just write down whois.hc and hit enter. So here we have to write the website name. Let us write tutorialspoint.com and click on search. And we have to prove that we are not a robot. So we have to fill this captcha. So here you can see all the who is information of tutorialspoint.com. So the registration organization is tutorialspoint India Private Limited and the registrar is GoDaddy and here you can find the domain name server details along with the IP and the IP location. So if you scroll down here you can find the website title, the response code and some additional information including the domain name and the registrant name. So this was all about whois.com. So once we find the whois detail of our target, what we can do is we can do a reverse IP lookup of our target which means to check that how many other websites are hosted on the same server of our target. So to do that, go to one website yougetsignal.com. So this website provides various features which we can use in order to 
do information gathering of our target but right now we are interested only in this reverse IP domain check so here we have to write the website name click on check so here you can see that 80 other websites 80 other domains are hosted on the same web servers of tutorialspoint.com so by checking the reverse IP it also gives us some idea that whether our target is hosted on a shared web server or a dedicated web server so for an example if I just write here google.com and click on check now here you can see that 124 domains are hosted on the same web server of google.com but here notice that all the domains are associated with google.com which means this is a dedicated hosting or a dedicated server now the next step after collecting the whois information and the reverse IP check is finding the subdomains of our target so to do that we have to start our Kali Linux so right now I am inside my Kali Linux instance so to in, in order to find the subdomains I am using this knock subdomain scan so it's a very good tool to find the subdomains and you can download it from here from this URL otherwise what you can do is you can even install it manually by going to command line so now let's install this tool so here is my terminal which you can just see and let me just copy this thing so it's a python script so that's why it's installing by using pip so just paste the command here and hit on enter first of all it will download this zip file and install this so I have already installed this tool so it will just give me an error that requ requirement already satisfied okay so now in order to run this tool we, ha we have to write down knock pi followed by the website name of which we want to scan the subdomains just for example just write down here google.com and hit enter so here you can see that it's performing some checks and some scans okay now here you can see that it started enumerating the different subdomains of google.com so here you can see the subdomain name like accounts.google.com status and along with its IP address there are some additional websites which you can use to find out the subdomains but most of the times that not work so I recommend you to find out the subdomains by downloading this tool so once we done with it then the next step is to detecting the operating system on which the website is hosted so why the operating system detection is compulsory or it's important because if we know as a pen tester that on which operating system the website is hosted then we can just find out the ways to exploit the operating system so in order to find the operating system on which the website is hosted there are different different ways but the most easy way is to just the ping that website and check the response now let me open my command prompt so just for example I'm writing here ping and the website name and hit enter so here so if I just look at the response so here you can see reply from bytes and TTL value so here is the thing to be noticed TTL value so TTL stands for time to live 
So if the TTL value of any of the website is near about 60 or less than 60, then it means then the website is hosted on a Linux, a Linux server. So if the TTL value is more than 50 or more than 60, which means then the website is hosted on a Windows. Now let's also ping google.com and let's see. Okay, so the TTL value is same. Now let's ping yahoo.com. Okay, so TTL value is again 60, less than 60. So if the TTL value is near about 110 or more than 110, then that means that the website is hosted on Windows Server. So once we find the operating system, then the last step is to find that on which platform the website is hosted or the website is running, whether the website is running on WordPress or on any content management system or the website is running on some kind of framework like PHP or any open source language. So in order to accomplish that task, there is one website called as builtwith.com. So here we have to write the URL. Okay, so now it's showing us the detail of techcrunch.com. So web server, you can see that the web server is Nginx. And the SSL certificate is WordPress SSL, means this website is running somehow on WordPress. So here you can also find the registrar detail, GoDaddy. And name server is a WordPress again. So email server is email services details then hosting providers and content management system. So this website techcrunch.com is actually running on WordPress, which is a content management system. And the framework is PHP. And if I go down, you will find a lot of juicy details, juicy information, interesting information about JavaScript libraries version, audio, video, media, payment providers also even if it's using and you can also find out the detail of CDN content delivery network of your website and meta tag information. So recapture information also. So this was all the process, all the techniques which we can use to find the important information of our target. So thanks for watching this video.